The social media tools are actually being used on this side of the ocean, too, to organize protests and to get information out. One example is the unions. Um, over the last few months, we have had issues with the state budget, and the unions have been able to get information out through using social media. And in the future, I think that the politicians and unions will use this as their platform. You can see an example that's happening in Wisconsin with the unions. They are using Facebook to organize the protests on the Capitol in the past, and they're also using it to gain support with other constituents. Lastly, you have the idea of using social media as more important form of information and powerful than traditionally arms or weapons were in the past. Any citizen can use social media and should to promote any cause that's dear to them or any, or any protest that they need to organize for a local community or even event because this will be the most powerful tool. So what does this mean to you? Well, you can use Twitter in a number of ways. You could use it to raise money for your local PTA bake sale. You could use it to raise money for a charity or a cause that is specifically close to your heart. You can use Twitter to announce information for a local blood drive, to raise money for a bake sale, and to also just promote your local business. In 2011, it would be a mistake not to include Twitter as part of your communication platform. Um, it's very important because it allows you to reach a great number of people very quickly and for them to respond to what you're putting out there for your tweets.